there seem to be more frequent storms and, and much higher tides. We have a, a trail system through town, and when some of it is on a trolley, trolley right of ways, and they go underwater. And, you know, I, I, I doubt that the trolley companies built their uh, trolley right of ways in the, you know, below the high tide mark. There has been evidence that the warming temperatures are, in fact, too warm for lobster. When, uh, we used to go swimming, of course, everybody went to swim. But if we had a water temperature that even got close to 70, we thought that water was warm. In fact, it was hot, you know, and uh, never, ever seen it get to 70 degrees. But now, the, it's uh, not unusual to get up to 76 to 77 degrees now, uh, annually. You have these tremendous uh, rainstorms that we've been having. It seems like you're in a drought for a month and then all of a sudden you get a month's worth of rain in two hours. There definitely are some other indicators of a changing sound. Um, lots of it seems to relate to warming temperatures, particularly warming ocean temperatures. The sooner we're aware of the fact that things are changing, the sooner we're going to be able, able to protect and sustain those things that we care about. But as far as the public infrastructure is concerned, that I think is a critical tool that we would not be building roads where we shouldn't be building roads. We would not be uh, allowing subdivisions where they shouldn't be allowed. When it's something that, uh, you know, this magnitude, it's not something you want to be crisis managing. It would be something you would rather be planning for.